Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and welcome to your weekly Saturday pre-order video where I take a look at all the, the pre-orders for Forge World and Games Workshop. There are quite a few uh, as there were last week but first a little bit of news. Uh, unfortunately there's been a delay in grabbing hold of the Tyranid Codex and the Start Collecting Set and all the other sort of new releases and things. Hopefully I'll get it Monday or Tuesday and as soon as I do get it in my hands then I will uh, do unboxings and reviews and things so uh, I do thank you for your patience it's out of my control I must reiterate I don't get anything sent for free I have to buy everything myself just like you guys so my reviews are honest and genuine I hope you'll enjoy the content when I uh, finally am able to bring it to you so without further ado let's have a look at Forge World so Forge World uh, they've now got the Tiger Shark uh, rearmed and ready for battle so we just go on here new uh, Forge World have um, oh, I better go back actually. Uh, Forge World have uh, now changed this little symbol here to some uh, Christmas presents. Uh, so here you go, Forge World Christmas Guide. Um, so you've got a guide there. Uh, and then also place an order of £75 or more and we'll send you a free shipping voucher that you can use in January. So if you're spending £75 uh, with the way their delivery works, it's probably going to be closer to 85 or 90 if you buy something um, because they sort of calculate the shipping afterwards so you spend sort of 85 pound or so then um, you'll get a little code uh, via email and you could use it in January which is great if you get Christmas money and things like that because we all know 412 shipping is just yeah very high and um, put it that way uh, and it'd be awesome if they just shipped your products and things um, to your local games workshop it definitely saved me money and I live quite a, quite a distance away from uh, my local one in Norwich anyway let's have a look at this gift guide so look you got free delivery well there's there's nothing new there um, no quibble returns well yeah nothing new there and then the free uh, shipping voucher um, it just says find a gift list search the store uh, so here we go we got ultimate gifts here I think they're already on the store anyway um, but they've just put them on this um, you know Christmas gift guide thing and, and called it a guide but there you go so if we go to new what they had on uh, up for pre-order yesterday uh, on the Friday was uh, the Tau uh, Tiger Shark uh, 160 pounds um, so it's five pound cheaper than the uh, Tiger Shark AX10 that they had, um, uh, I think, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It's a medium, I'd say me medium to big uh, flyer for the Tau. There it is next to a uh, Barracuda, I think it is. Um, don't quote me on that though. But my Tau is uh, my Tau knowledge is as good as my Necron knowledge and. Uh, Dark Eldar knowledge, but anyway, there you go. That's uh, that, uh, and also you'll get a free set of Tau Air Cast Ground Crew. So they're continuing with that, which is great. I uh, can't promote that enough. You know, I think it's great whenever they uh, give you free miniatures with a big miniature that's 160 pound. I mean, imagine if they gave you a couple of, you know, Horus Heresy um, Mark III Power Armor Space Marines, or or even one with your purchase of a Fell Blade or something. I mean, that'd just be immense wouldn't it let's face it uh, so then you've got the air cast collection which includes this Tau Tiger Shark uh, and the one from last week and then uh, yes it's a Barracuda oh so there you go so that you got the the three aircraft there for 405 pounds fair bit of money then you get an air cast uh, squadron uh, for 199 pounds so that's all that there were for the up for pre-order for um, uh, Forge World this week uh, that will be shipping on the 17th, so next week. Uh, so next weekend that'll be shipping, and you've also got the uh, the free PDF uh, rules download too, which is excellent. And again, I can't say enough positive things about when they they put these free uh, PDF uh, profiles. And I wish they did it for all of their models. I really do. Um, anyway, that is uh, Forge World. Let's hop on over to Games Workshop where. Dun, dun, dun. you've got all of the Necromunda stuff now available for pre-order. Now it's not coming out next weekend, it's coming out on the 24th, which is a little bit odd because two weeks from today would be the 25th. Um, so it's actually it's actually been released on the Friday. 
which is slightly odd rather than it being released on the on the typical Saturday. But there you go. It's obviously uh, there's a reason behind all that. So if we just go on to uh, new and exclusive, and we go. So they've now got this uh, this Christmas gift look gift buyers guide. Let's actually see if it is a buyers guide. Um, so it's similar to the Forge World one. So again, they're promoting the no quibble returns, free store pickup, and Christmas shop delivered. Spend over forty pounds. So nothing new in those uh, those three things there. Um, again, free store in store pickup would be nice if for this Christmas season they had all the Forge World stuff um, rather than sort of you having to spend over eighty quid just to get your delivery uh, free. You know, in a couple of months' time in January, uh, it would have been nice. Hopefully, they'll do it next year. Um, I think that they. If people had all the Forge World um, items sent to their Games Workshop stores, I think that would be a, a better boost than the uh, having to spend £75. But hey, that's just my uh, my take on it. So I had to find a gift list. So yeah, it looks just like uh, the Forge World one. It shows you the new for Christmas, great value gifts, stocking fillers, and so on. Um, so that's their sort of Christmas guide. Let's have a look at the uh, pre-orders though. Up, uh, up today, on the Saturday. We'll just view all of those. There's 60. So that's even more than last weekend. However, they're being a bit cheeky now because they've they've put um, all the Tyranid uh, things and you know so they've they've got a lot of the items that were up for pre-order last weekend up for up for pre-order this weekend too. Even though they're out this weekend, so it's a little bit cheeky. But but there we go. So again, you got the Ultimate Paint Collection, which was last weekend. So was the uh, the Citadel. Um, you've got all the Necromunda pre-orders, uh, £221.50. I'm pretty sure it doesn't save you any money from buying all of these uh, separately. Um, so you've got the Underhive uh, box set. You've got uh, two gangs, but you get the two gangs in the set anyway, which is odd. And you get then there's barricades, so that just gives you extra barricades. Um, you get the cards and the dice and the book um, all in one. £221.00. I think it's it's a lot of money. Um, personally, uh, you, you're getting 40 models, some scenery, some dice, and a paperback uh, sort of supplement for you to use Necromunda uh, with 3D ruins and things. Personally, I think that should be in the main box myself, but there you go, £221, it's there. Now, the terrain collection is up for pre-order, but it's just terrain that you've seen before, um, £210. Uh, they're classifying it as the Necromunda terrain collection when in fact it's it's been um, around for since Armageddon Shadow War it's that scenery um, so they, they've got three of those kits in there so that's up for pre-order um, but in a way it's sort of available now um, just separately and then all the others were up for pre-order last weekend um, including the Tyranid Army, the Necron Army, the Craft Worlds Army all these army sets all they are are just the start collecting set with a couple of box sets. So this one here, look, you've got um, the extra box sets is just the gargoyles and the hormigants and the termigants. I, I want to say so. You've got three sets there, but uh, Maths Cat's got back to me and she said that actually you don't save any money by buying the start collecting set and those three sets uh, together in this army sort of bundle. Um, it's exactly the same as if you bought the start collecting set and each one of these three sets individually so so it's up to you um, personally I just buy the start collecting set because you do save money from buying those models individually and then you can just spend the other money on whatever you want or just uh, buy one of those sets it's, it's up to you and it's the same for the other army sets uh, what is up for pre-order though paint wise is uh, they're giving you the house Escher paint bundle so almost a hundred pounds there for 34 pots of high quality paints okay um, so 34 pots of paints almost a hundred pound there so that's interesting so if you want to go in depth with the Necromunda on a hive set it's going to cost you your what 65 pound for the box set I do apologize it is 75 pounds it's not um, 65 I don't know why I thought it was 65 and if you want to paint all the 20 models in there it's going to cost you you know another 180 pounds or so so uh, it's going to cost you more to paint them than um, you know to buy them if you wanted to use all of the paints that you know GW use then you've got Necromunda Underhive and Gang War so you've got the Underhive set but uh, yeah so you've got the Underhive and Gang War again personally I think that supplement um, it's available on release of the Underhive personally I think it should have been included in the Underhive um, that's just my opinion though yep yeah, so you've got the House Goliath paint bundle to pre-order 
Um, you've got the Underhive set itself. We'll have a look at that in a moment. The Promethean Refinery, so just that separate. That's for pre-order. Then you've got the uh, the Tyranid things. They they were pre-order last weekend, though. They're also doing these uh, set specific, which I think they'll continue with all the other gangs and the Arbites and things like that. So you've got House Goliath Collection. So you get your 10 models, your cards, and your dice. Hmm, all right. So yeah, they're doing this set where you get your 10 models, uh, your cards, your dice, all for £42. I think that is a lot of money, um, personally. I mean, I suppose it does set you up for one faction uh, for your games. Um, you know, and if you really like the models, then, you know, go for it. But uh, yeah, £42, it is, yeah, it is expensive, definitely. But I can't see them not doing this kind of bundle set with... Uh, with all the other gangs and things and then you got more tyranids and then you got the the different gangs uh up for pre-order you got the barricade so you got the bulkhead doors 22 pound 50 um that looks like there's quite a few repeats in that set the thermic plasma conduits the uh barricades and objectives and yeah the gang war 17 pound 50 um Let's have a little look at that. So 64 page softback for £17.50. That is almost half the content of a codex, but for £8 less. Hmm, okay. That's quite quite pricey then as well. The thermic plasma regulators, uh, just two pieces of scenery. They'll be exactly the same as all the other scenery, um, but all this sort of darker plastic made in China. So there you go, two two bits of scenery there. Then you've got Warhammer Quest uh, Adversaries cards pack, fifteen pound. Um, Pre-order Cal Jericho Omnibus, and then the Geld, which is a CD. You got the card cards, nine pounds each. Then the dice, and then the uh, Necromunda twenty-five mil and thirty-two mil bases. I think you get those bases in the set. Yeah, you get 10 each, so 10 bases each. 10 bases, uh, four pound. Okay, let's have a look at this Necromunda Underhive, because this is the main pre-order uh, for today uh, that will ship on the uh, 24th, so the, so the Friday in two weeks' time. Now, um, obviously, it will be available at the uh, Warhammer 40,000 Open Day at Nottingham, at the uh, Games Workshop HQ, where I will be there, and we'll have a chat and uh, talk about the day and stuff. So, um, really looking forward to that. So the Necromunda Underhive, £75, you get your 20 models, uh, you get, uh, looks like you get an awful lot of cards. You get a rule book, um, you get the barricades, you get some dice, you get some templates. We've all got templates, but those orange ones do look cool, and yeah, I do like the colour orange. Um, then you get some kind of uh, box type room thing, looks pretty cool, but uh, let's have a look at the miniatures. So this is the uh, Escher gang, you get the two gangs with it, and uh, yeah, you do get these uh, these lovely looking um, city uh, bases which you know you don't have to use for these models you you could just use uh, some of your bases that 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 were that came out last year uh, in sort of May June time um, you know this the city base you could use those instead um, and then you could just use these on you know um, other models other sort of 25 mil mil models that you might have so yeah really nice looking models um, I really like this kind of punk kind of steampunk kind of you know futuristic sci-fi kind of theme that they're going for but as always i welcome uh, more and more female models uh, which is great with this uh whip and this uh bolt gun type needler combi needler painting is just incredible if you look at the uh the highlighting on the uh torso there it's just fantastic i love how they do their um tattoos well then you got uh house goliath which i think are on the 32 mil bases um with these red they sort of look like chaos cultists as well i mean um could you even use them as chaos cultists i mean you know uh possibly possibly maybe um you know sort of corn chaos cultists and then you get this uh, this guy with this combi sort of plasma weapon and this big uh, hammer I do like the, the yellow and the black sort of hazard strips as well on the top. Um, and then the the dents and the rust on the uh, 
I just love that sort of effect that they've gone for. It really does look like a, uh, you know, metal hammer, which is, uh, yeah, done an incredible job with the uh, highlighting and then the uh, polished parts of the metal. So, yeah, that's uh, House uh, Goliath. More pictures there. And uh, all of these are tiles which can which are reversible, it seems. Um, you can have them in a number of different ways. Um, you get all these counters and things and, that you can pop out. Uh, these are all the barricades that you get in there. They'd be nice just for objectives, these little um, consoles on, on bases. I think these they would be great objective points. You get some more doors, glass doors and things. You get all these little extras too, um, like this tentacle. That would be cool. That'd be cool on just a normal base. Or maybe a Nurgle base, I don't know. But uh, you get all these demo charges, it looks like, and uh, ammo crates and caches. Uh, you get a load of cards, tactic cards, things. You get the rule book. Um, I don't know if it is a hardback rule book. No, it's a 104 page softback book. Oh, that's. Uh, would have been nice if they had a little hardback book, but uh, there you go. You get six scenarios in the box, uh, cards. You get um, you get twenty cards usable by any house. So you get your nine unique double-sided tiles, placed together in a myriad of configurations. Uh, you get nine barricades, five loot crates. Oh god, I've even included loot crates. How did they manage to include loot crates in games? What in a Games Workshop game system? <laughs> ah, right. Anyway. Then a uh, frame containing the seven bulkhead doors, uh, card tokens, 16 six-sided, uh, 16 mil dice, six standard dice, two blast templates and a flame template, and a 12-inch uh, plastic range ruler, which is all there, as you can see. It's great, and I really like the orange sort of theme that they've, they've gone for. There are all the bases. Are they the 20? Yeah, they're the 20. That's the uh, sprue for the doors, and the barricades, and the little tentacle thing. Oh, which isn't actually attached to the base. So yeah, you could put that on a, a different base then. Then you get the sprue for Escher, and then Goliath, and then the box itself. So £75. I always take a very sort of honest view of these games and these game systems and things and uh, look at the price and look at what you can get for your money elsewhere as well. I've bought other game systems before, so I've bought the uh, the two Horus Heresy sets and they are £95 each. Um, and you pretty much get about 50 odd models in each of those rather than the 20 here. Um, and let's face it, these models, there are, there are 10 on 32 mil bases and 10 on the smaller 25 mil bases. Um, there are much bigger models uh, Maybe not as much detail, um, but definitely more in uh, variety and more in content in the other game systems out there for sort of £20 more. So I just thought I'd bring that to the table. To me, it looks like Blood Bowl all over again. Um, I mean, I never played Necromunda uh, originally all those years ago, um, and I didn't play the, you know, the regeneration of it. But for me, the main draw is just humans in 40k. That is the main draw. Uh, if I can use them as chaos cultists, that would be great. Um, but that that is the draw for me. Not because I've played it before. It's just because I want to see more humans, more civilians, more you know gangs, more hive people. Not just people, but different races and different aliens as well. I want to see more of that aspect of this huge universe uh, of 40k. And I really like the look of the models uh, that they've sculpted. So hopefully I'll get this in a couple of weeks and I'll do an unboxing and uh, give you my my sort of final thoughts and opinions of it. As I said before, I will be going to the uh, 40k open day. So that might hamper when I can get this uh, unboxing and review out. Um, but I'm not going to stay for too long on that day. But hopefully I can get back and uh, do an unboxing review for you all. Anyway, what are you looking forward to? Are you picking up uh, Necromunda Underhive? Uh, what do you think of it? What do you think of uh, everything that's involved? Please do put it in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.